Welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the fastest ways you can actually increase your gear score. When you play this game, you obviously start with standard gear. You work your way up through the ranks. You go from standard to improved, advanced, high-end, elite, and then from some of the bosses in the game, you can get signature weapons. We'll start with the first one. That is Maria's shop. It can be found in Erewhon, or you can go to a bivouac and access the shop from there. When you access the shop, you're not guaranteed to increase your gear score. The further you progress through it, up to the cap of 252, the longer it takes. And I mean it gets long to actually improve your gear score. You can see here that there isn't anything to actually improve it. I've got a minus one on a pistol. Going over to the gear, there are no positives. All the gear is exactly the same as what I'm currently wearing. The shop will refresh every hour. There is also a perk in the skill tree you can unlock that will improve the quality of the items Maria sells, although I don't think that has too much of an impact. Next up is all forms of missions, whether it be a side mission, a faction mission, or a main mission. If you come to the map and you zoom out, you will see there'll be orange, yellow, or green. Green's faction, orange is side, yellow is main. Doing those missions, there's enemies you can kill, you'll get random rewards. If you literally just run around and take out enemy patrols, you have the chance of getting loot to drop. That loot can obviously be a lower gear score, but it does have the chance of being higher. And there's a lot of different enemy patrols in the game. So you have a relatively good chance of actually getting some loot that's going to help out. There's obviously other ways besides what's in this video, but these personally are the best ways. And a little tip is when you're looking through your gear, it doesn't matter what rarity it is. It doesn't matter what weapon it is or anything like that. Make sure you're always getting rid of whether it's selling or dismantling gear and guns. Make sure you're always getting rid of the lower level stuff. Only ever equip the high stuff because that's going to help boost you through the levels. Next is to take down enemy bases. If we quickly take a look at the map, this one that I'm heading to now will contain an SASG-12, an MK-14, you'll even get a chest, and there's initially a scale credit crate, you will also get a patch. If we zoom out of the map and have a look around, you will see, let's go somewhere down here, there are loads of little question marks. These question marks are like little areas, locations that you haven't discovered, you can use your drone to scout them out or you can travel there. And sometimes there will be a little compound, like sometimes it's an abandoned warehouse that has no enemies or anything around it, and you can get a decent amount of loot from them. What I found out from playing this game is the bigger the area you're searching, the more loot you'll get. Taking a look up here, you have a little technology location that will contain boots. Up here you get three items. Some of them are the unique plunders, like collectibles, scale credits. But there you've got five items. And then over here, you've got five gear items, and then you've got a ton of unique plunders. So make sure you're taking down enemy bases. Another thing that I found is the gear and gun crates, not the scale credit ones, but the gear and gun crates, do reset in the places on a daily basis. So every day, if there's an area you found that's got like six or seven gear pieces, then go back to it. As you'll see on the mini-map now, there's a couple of crates right in front of me, but if we have a look, it's all ticked off. I've collected all of this stuff before. Not only that, but they're normally filled with enemies, so that's another chance of getting yourself some gear. Next up is my penultimate tip, number five, and that is to take down wolves camps. These are basically tougher variants of enemy bases or camps. And I mean, they do get really, really tough the later you get into the game. So if we take a look here, you have a Wolves Camp Tiger, that's for 1+. plus. That's a Behemoth Defense Area. Then we have... I don't actually know of many others. There's one here, that's a 150+, plus Wolves Camp. You can obviously take these down earlier than the recommended gear score, but it's recommended for a reason. The Wolves are the toughest enemies in the game. And when I say enemies, I mean like actual soldiers type thing, not the behemoths and the drones. Then last up is Elite Faction Missions. These are incredible for gear score improvements. The best way you'll find elites, I'm not sure what gear score you have to be to unlock them, but if you go to your objectives board and you go over to the right side of the battle rewards, you will have your faction missions. You go in there and if it's got this little skull here, 
it will be an elite. Even though it says you get a blue, like for this one, I've got a blue USP tactical. You get 100 battle points as well, which will help you progress through the tiers. And you get a decent amount of XP too. But what I've noticed from these is you'll always have two locations you have to go to. Like I have to go back to Erewhon to initiate this mission. I have to talk to Mads. And then he's going to send me out on the mission. So you go to the first area. Normally with these missions from Mads, or Mads however you want to pronounce his name, the first part of the elite mission will be to go to a camp, take it out, and find some intel from one of the workers or something about the location of a computer. Then the second area you have to go to is the important one, because when you make it to that second area, the second one will actually be the location of the computer. You need to take out the camp, and then you'll have a two-minute timer to defend the computer. Then you'll have a two-minute timer to defend the computer, but the enemies at the camp will have a little skull symbol next to their gear score. They are a lot tougher than standard enemies, and the gear they can drop... I've done a couple of faction missions when I'm past 200 gear score. I actually covered it in another video on the channel. I went up three gear score in the space of that one mission. Bearing in mind they do take longer because there's two areas you have to go to, then a two minute defending sort of objective. And I'm not sure how many of these you can do per day. Essentially, you would think that you have one from Mads and then one from the other person, which is down here. I've actually completed this one already. But once I'd done the one for Mads, it popped up with another one. I don't know if it's going to show that I've completed one. No, it doesn't show up. For some reason, this one's reset. But do the elite missions, they will be a little bit tougher, they're going to take longer, but they are way more rewarding. You're capped at 400 battle points per day, and I think you should only be able to do the elites once per day as well. But that's two elite missions, and if they put you up even two gear score each time, that's four gear score you can improve per day just by taking these missions down. And then add everything else to it, you should be increasing your gear score at an incredibly fast rate. And these missions do reset. You'll see the daily reset to the left side of this pop-out bit. They reset at 10 a.m. UK time. Maz is located in Erewhon and the other character is down here on Windy Islands. Over in the northeast corner at the South Cape Station. Remember, it's a slow process. It's fairly quick up until 150, but 150 plus it starts slowing down. To the point where if you're doing the side missions, main missions, taking down bases, sometimes you can do two bases to go up one gear score. It becomes a bit grindy, but I do believe 250 is the max, although that's a soft cap and you can actually push to 252 by doing the elite faction missions. So that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.